What's happening, Capital Extra? Robert Bruce here. Oh, Wireless 2019. Way, whatever way you want to look at, man, it's all you. I bumped into a legend right here, man. Killing it all over the globe. And you just killed your performance as well. Tory yeah. Lanez, everybody. How you feeling, my bro? I feel good. I feel good. I'm chilling. Yeah. How was that, first of all? It was good. I, don't, I didn't really like my performance. Oh, why? I just feel like I could I just could have did better. They were loving it. It's just one of those artist things, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was cool, diving into the crowd, everything. Nah, it was cool, it was cool. It was it was definitely fun. Like I love wireless. London is like one of my favorite places in the world. Mm -hmm. I just I'm like a I'm a super realist. I'm hard on okay, myself. So if it's not yeah, like you know, I'm yeah. a perfectionist. Like if it's not the craziest, craziest I think I could have done, then I'm just like, I could have did it better. I'm gonna say he's being modest because I was there backstage, yeah. It was crazy. Even you Thank could hear you people shouting from everywhere. No, I appreciate that, man. Like it was it was still fun. Every time I perform, it's always fun. I just come down on myself it's about like the perf the exact quality of my performance every okay. time. That's all. I didn't think you was gonna make that jump though. That jump oh no, I'm gonna make it. Yeah. I'm always gonna make it. <laughs> no matter what happens, I'm always gonna make the jump. What do you like about the UK anyway? Because I'm seeing lots of tracks coming out at the moment. Um honestly, just the swag, like Everything about like out here, just like the really, it's really the fashion. I think that draws me here before anything. But then it's also just the energy of the people in the city. Like, I think because so many people, it's it's kind of like Toronto, like where everyone mm. comes from somewhere, and okay. a lot of people like their heritage and their ethnicity is like from the islands and mm -hmm. from like all over the place. That it ends up being like this big mo melting pot of culture. Yeah. And for me, like that's probably one of the funnest. And dopest things I think is 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 just sick about London because yeah. everybody you could be this race that race this race and everyone's together you know okay, it's fire. Cool. We were talking just before that I told you album sort of told your whole journey from before till that point then mixtapes upon mixtapes getting your music out. What's the journey been like from your perspective? Um, Looking back at it from where you are now, it's been a lot, man. <clears throat> um, you know, the first time I ever came out on a um you know on a blog was in 2010 you know and world star was the first time it's 2019 man and mm -hmm. i'm still relevant and it's like you know i'm only getting to a place i'm dropping more music being more consistent and it's just like for me right now i'm in a place where i'm like yo i'm about to go so much harder than mm -hmm. what anybody thinks and so it's just being blessed enough to be relevant for this long and being able to just be in this position it just feels like a dream come true you know and mm -hmm. just to still have loyal fans that care about me and to care to buy my albums and to go to my shows and scream in the audience and do things like that i think that that's just a, a really big thing it's a real okay. big blessing for me talking about fans chicks take five everyone's waiting <laughs> what you telling us <laughs> listen that's probably gonna be <clears throat> one of the best r b projects i think in the last 10 years wow honestly what's done on that project it's never been done before. And I'm not trying to anticipate, because you know I'm good at anticipating something, but what's done on that project has never, ever been done before. Like, literally never, ever. For real? And so it's like, yeah, it's never, ever been done before. So for me, I'm at a place where I'm like, I want to drop it. I want to make sure everybody gets what they're supposed to get out of it. But it has to be literally a 1,000% okay. perfected. That means down to every single... Cause remember, sometimes... Because the album is a bunch of samples, mm -hmm. when you when I sample things like that, the clearing process things take Must longer. Long, yeah, takes a wild, wild amount of time, and so like everything has to be per perfected. Because I can do the best sample you ever thought of, mm -hmm. and then out of the sudden they're like, "Nah, you can't clear that oh, song." Nah, so then, yeah. what fits in that place now that I gotta mm. replace everything? And this feeling of nostalgia, how am I gonna redo that? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Certain things you gotta just. Different so strokes with different so you don't folks, have man. no time, you don't have no date, no nothing, you don't know when <coughs> um, around. I'm trying to aim for the end of summer, early fall. Um, I don't want to go too far into stuff because then when you don't, if it doesn't come out at that yeah, time, the then everyone's like, yo, you blocks. said it was, <laughs> nah. It's just like, just know it's getting perfected, I promise you. This is not, you know, some album that I'm going to hold for like a bunch of months. Like as, as soon as it's ready to go, it'll be out. We're out, all right then, cool. Talk to me about the artists you've been collaborating with in the UK recently. We're gonna to go to the US after. Nate um, Smalls, that track's ringing off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just we did it. Wiley. Yeah, we did one with uh, Wiley, Nate Smalls. Um, I just did something. My bad. I just did something with um, 
Oh my bad. I just did something with gigs. It was a crazy record for with real? Yeah, I just did for a crazy real? record with gigs. We was gonna shoot it tonight actually, but he was like, let's just shoot it when we get back because he wanted to change like a line in a song or something like that. But yeah, I've been working with a lot okay. of like London talent and I like to find new new talent. Like you yeah. feel me? Like young kids that's growing up, coming up right now in the industry that's from over here before anybody gets to them. I wanna work with Have you got your eye on anyone right now? No, nah, not specifically, I mean, when I was, Nate Smalls was probably like, the last time I came here was the dude that I had seen, and I seen he was yeah. coming up, so when we wanted to work, we, we worked with Nate Smalls because we felt like this nigga's going to come up, he's mm. about to be dope, and I like his sound and his swag, his attitude towards it, he's just a cool kid, I was like, yeah. this kid's a star. Okay. So I just like, yeah, let's do it. Wicked, man. So we saw you on the Drake tour, that was sick, it was yeah, you enjoyed man. it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Where can we see you next? Um, I'm going to be going on the Chris Brown tour, it's in America. But I'm oh, be coming, coming to the UK. Yeah, but I'm I'ma come to the UK right after the Chris Brown tour. Um hopefully by that time the chicks tape is out. Hopefully. If it's not out, regardless, a bunch of records are coming. So it's like one of those things where it really doesn't matter. Like a bunch of records are coming. Yeah. Like bunch of records, bunch of videos, a lot of content's coming. So by the next time I come here, it'll be plenty more stuff to wild out to. Okay, say no more. Thank you very much, bro. You already know, buddy. His wrist is very heavy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's heavy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Nah, it's all Thank love, you. man. I appreciate y'all for real. Man.